Okay, so I pushed the wrong button, but look. So here it is. I'm getting set up now. My, I, the scotch tape has really been giving me trouble. So I gotta find what I did with it. Where's my tape roll? Here it is. Now look underneath the table. See, I put those little things on the bottom yeah, to raise it up again. so it would drape wow. nicer. That was, I thought ahead, didn't I? That was, that was very good. Yeah, I thought that was pretty clever. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, just, till I'm done here. I wanna get as much exposure as I can, so I wanna put this out on this side right here. And I'll drape it over the back. Okay. So we'll go underneath here. So I have to get the tape out. I can't. Hey, you want to try that? I'll pull it down a little bit. Don't stick it yet. Make it the same edge as that one. Okay. How's that? And let it touch the ground. <laughs> That's noisy, isn't it? You're allowed to tape it to the uh, tablecloth. Oh, yeah. yeah, they said we could. Yeah, it's really hard. It was cold and it wasn't let me do anything before. I even broke my thumbnail on it. That's how bad it was. So Dave, Dave was in Philly this last couple days? I was, You were what? there too? What? I saw a video that said that he was like the last couple days he was in Philly again. What? No? I don't know, did he? I thought maybe, maybe he Stuff later. Oh yeah, he yeah he didn't download everything right away. Well, yeah, I think the Christmas uh, Village is only on the weekends, right? I would guess so. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna put it down at the bottom. Here, put it around the corner. Cell phone, but Crystal gave me her fire thing. Uh, so I didn't under quite understand it. Are you you're coming here at bed four? No, I'm not gonna hang out all day. Really? But okay. but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk the mall in the morning and uh, and invite everybody to come. Okay. I've been okay. doing that. If I pass somebody, I'll right. give them a card, say stop by dear, down near J.C. Penney. Okay. So at least the people who work here will also be able to come see us. So that way people who come that direction can see. I like it. Yeah. This is about how far we can go, right? You can't, nothing has to, everything has to stay out on this table. Pretty much. That's all right. That's funny. So Marilyn, you had said, uh, I heard you say that uh, you think maybe next year they're gonna collapse the system. What do you, what do you know about that? Or what do you think about that? Because there's there's just so much stuff happening, and it's only supposed to be in three and a half years that we're supposed to be in this. But I don't know if it's going to get worse or not. I just, I don't know. The tribulation? 
Yeah, that, that might get a whole lot worse. That's why we're all prepping. Yeah. That's why my channel, even though I'm working on it, Organic Flat Earth Prepper. My yeah, but I saw a Flat Earth Prepper, but I didn't see the organic part. Yeah, that's that's the name of my... Yeah, organic. but I didn't see it. Is yeah. it up yet? Yeah. yeah it's up? Because oh, yeah. I looked for it, and I didn't... I saw... Uh, my thing is, is I be, I'm trying to persuade people, you know, that this Flat Earth is actually the present... The, this is going to lead to a time of chaos. And so not only do you have to take on this truth, but to prepare yourself, prep your house, prep everything, because what this is going to unleash is literally... Well, the, sure. You know, we all know They're going to be pissed. This is it. I mean, if they, if they figured if they lose this ball, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna say... Well, they, they've lost all credibility then, too, right. right? So nobody will believe them, and they have to go. They have to leave. They have to get out. And they will. I think they're going to go to the other land. Uh, if there is more land, they're going to. They're going to go start colonies, probably in the uh, the stuff outside. Look, of I need Arctic. some some oil or something to clean this. Oh, I'm so dumb. These things I had stuck here, and then they came off, and now I should have really cleaned this off before I came. You know what? I have a spray bottle that has alcohol in it. It's a hand sanitizer, but it has nothing. Oh, you think that'll take off sticky stuff? Yeah, I think it will. Oh, I think it's working. It's helping anyway. I use the uh, um, skin so soft. It could do better. So, what do you think about that new preacher in Philadelphia who's preaching flat Earth? Who's that? You didn't, you didn't see that? No. Things I posted. It's a black church called the School of the Hebrews. It's a church in Philly. I don't Here. know where. Uh, okay. But it's uh, Pastor Omar Thabo. He just put out a thing on. Uh, Stephen Curry, the basketball player, that said that public, that okay. public thing. But yeah. this guy is, this preacher is is boldly proclaiming it in the churches everything, like everything. Well, then we need to go <laughs> and throw some money in a plate. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, what we I, need I, to I do. Post, I said this is a church that I might be able to go to. First, he's got the understanding that. The church is here, away a little here, its, and then here. The church has fallen away from its uh, Hebrew roots. It's become it's become a Hellenized pagan religion. It's, it's, yeah. It's it's, uh, it's the very thing that Yahweh in the Old Testament said. Warned. Was, warned. It said, "Don't mix with the nations. Don't do this. You're a separate." You know. What will people do if we don't have Christmas? Give me a little bit more here. That's good, thanks. You know what? It, I was thinking that the word Christ Mass means Christ's death. Why would they be, why would the Catholic Church call it Christ's death? Uh, mass it, means death. Mass means death. A mass is when you do a mass. It's a. It's a. Uh, yeah, like a funeral. A funeral. They're basically saying they did that purposely because they're satanic. So they basically. Wow, I didn't that, know yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I saw that. It made a whole lot of sense. Yeah. So they're crucifying. Remember the verse that says, "Why don't they know crucifying them over again?" That's the transubstantiation. Right. When they take communion, it, it, they it, actually it, it, say it is the blood and body. Right. To so they're killing him. It's like a, a ritual sacrifice. Oh, oh like man. These, these guys are so satanic. It's just disgusting. I don't know why it crinkles here.
What do you think of this idea? Let's just check the numbers, see if the numbers are right. All right, so you must be uh, an engineer or something like that? Yep. Okay, cool. Well, I can talk to you about anything. <laughs> I'm educated in this stuff. This is the Terry Cratchit butter. butter. Terry Cratchit? Yep, Terry Cratchit. I have no idea yeah, who he is. British writer. Okay, so this is the flat earth map that we use, and the Antarctica <laughs> goes all the way around the outside edge. Okay, so here we have the curvature formula based on 24901 equator. Now okay, this, right. this is Chicago across 60 miles of Lake Michigan. That should be hidden under 1,700 feet. And it's not, it's right there. We had a guy get on a boat and go all the way across with his video camera fixed on it the whole time. It didn't, it's not a mirage. So this is the edge of our bathtub, Antarctica. Now when you look, if you type now, this in, you'll get all the information. What happens on the other side of this line? I only teach to this edge. Because anything, <laughs> anything past that is all speculation. Because nobody's allowed to go there, only the government. Ah. So, so if you want to take this so card, you, know, you can you, have no, it. No thanks. You don't trust the... Uh, the, the uh, government? The government, the, the government would never lie to us, would they? Sure, people in government will lie. So when you when you watch this video down here at the bottom, then uh -huh. you'll you'll see this. You'll have to study this perspective. You know these railroad tracks continue, but you can't see them. Absolutely. So so this is how your eyes work at a distance. That's like Pontchartrain Bridge. So um, those are the reasons why sun the sun appears to disappear over the horizon, but it really doesn't. It just fades away. And on here, the second video is a time lapse of the sun which proves that it gets smaller and smaller. It has to have the right conditions, though. There has to be something on the other side of the line. Like what? Well, the other, the other side of this circumference Well, then, line. then you have to go there because I'm not allowed to go. So you must know somebody. Uh-huh. You know, they have scientists. You know they do religious ceremonies down there? What's that all about? What is that all about? You mean Sunday church? Or do you mean no, I mean like guys in fish hats going down there and they're doing something. What's, what's a fish hat? Well, the Catholics wear these hats that look like an open mouth of a fish. Oh. Okay, right. And well, it are, actually is something to do with fish. Those, those miters. Miters, thank you. Fighters? Miters. Miters? It's a miter, yes. It's a miter, it's, a miter it's hat? Actually, they've traced that thing back to Dagon the fish god. Yes, exactly right. Yeah. See, that's why I call it fish hat. It makes much more sense, don't you think? Right. So we live in a Taurus field, so there really isn't gravity. It's really diamagnetism, and I have that here somewhere. Uh, diamagnetism, over here. So these are the things that um, I can talk about that, too. So how do you explain the the fake pictures on no, NASA? No, I, well, well, they're not fake. Because Look at this. Which one is real? The United States. That's right off their website. Depends on what altitude you're at. No, because the diameter is the same. Proportionately, it has to be the same. Depends on which altitude you're at. Really? Yep. So wouldn't the outside diameter be different? The Earth looks smaller when you're further away. Yeah, but then the diameter of the circle would be different too. So you have to look it up yourself and prove to yourself that that's what NASA's putting out. It's all computer generated. I know what science my software is generated. Your software generated. So you worked for NASA. Oh. Not exactly, but yes, yeah, sort of. <laughs> Can take that with you. Do what? Oh, don't go there. That's garbage. The Flat Earth Society is a government run organization. What, what better way to control it? Yeah, exactly right. You're not stupid. So look, now do you believe me? Look, now do you believe me?
me, I got a lab coat on. Oh. <laughs> I got a lab coat. You gotta believe me now, right? How's that look, Pete? Fantastic. You look uh, official now. And really, whatever comes out is <laughs> official. They're gonna believe everything I say, right? I don't want them to do that. Capital S for science. <laughs> So this, you ever see this? This is my favorite thing. Yeah, I'm not even set up here, really. I need to get my gear on. So, here's this. Here's this. Hey there. Now, I do have a barrette somewhere. I did put it somewhere. You can look this up at when you get home. If you type that in, you'll get everything on the banners. There's my barrette. Okay. So they did this with Felix Bob Garvey, the one where he jumped out of space. Yeah, they did that. Anything they can buy us free? Yes, go right ahead. And if you type this uh, this on the back, if you type that in, you'll get everything that's on the banners. See, the, the thing that's convincing is. Do you have you a question, the though, like right off the bat? Right. You go like, to Mount Everest, it's flat. This what is, is this? Blue. North Pet, North Pole in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around the edge. That's the edge of our bathtub. Okay. All these waters are all flat with each other. It's level, sea level. That's what you have to know. And on the other side of your card, there's the same map. But we see Chicago across 60 miles of Lake Michigan. You shouldn't be able to see that according to the formula, which is also here on the card. And that's based on a 24,901 equator. So yeah, this is all true and real, and you look it up and you study it, and you'll come to the same conclusion that we did two and a half years ago. Okay. That's why I remember somebody was executed for saying the earth was round. You have to be careful about history because because oh, okay. you have to go by who's writing the textbooks, right? Question them because they're not writing the same history that other people know. So just question that. Hmm. Yeah. It's a fake. That's fake. No, I know, I know. You have to watch. There's a person pouring water into a tub, right? Yeah. Okay, watch how she pours the water in the tub. She pours it in over here, then she'll pour it in over here. You watch again. Yep, it's fake. I'll have it I'm going to watch Yeah, it's fake. So it depends on how you pour the water. Yep. Yep, it does. Not long ago, I watched a documentary about... Uh, I heard you mention it earlier when I was... About Nikola's uh, Tesla. Tesla. Yes. He uh, wanted to build a um, free electricity with all the wires and some... Really, 
JP Morgan said no. Yeah. He borrowed money from JP Morgan. And later on he said no. no, no. JP Morgan wanted to put the meters on the houses okay. and charge people for something that we should have for free. Now we've been looking into that. All the old cathedrals, mm. they have these spires that go way high. Yeah. We think that they were to collect electricity. Oh. Look into that. It's very fascinating. And the wind the windows, the round windows, that tells you the frequency that they are getting from the electricity in that structure. We're looking into all that stuff and it is just fascinating. Thank you. But yeah, look into this. Type that uh with yeah. Okay, now, am I getting, I want to have it up a little bit. See, I'm going to adjust this, guys, so. So like a card? If you type this, uh, if you type that in, you'll get everything that's on the banners. But I can answer your questions. I just came out to see what's happening. This is yeah. Place. Yeah, it is. Every day, every time they have something under the here. Like before they had, they had a dance floor here. Oh. So I just came to see what, so, uh, what they're doing. Right, that's good. Makes it interesting. Scissors. Thank you. I broke my nail and I can't. If I just cut this off. Ouch. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. I'll take all my dirt with me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Did you ever hear about Flat Earth? If you get far, far enough away, that's going to be look like a pinprick. Yes. Right? And if you get even further away, it's still there. It's just a smaller pinprick. Right. So, if you would see something against the Earth and with the light like that, you could see something yeah. moving if there was something. Come look! Would you like one of our cards? That's okay, thank you. Come look at the evidence. The space station is going to pass over. I've heard of it. Okay, and if you do that, you can actually see the point of light, which is the space station traveling across the sky. So, like a card? Yeah, we find satellites when they crash down with the balloons still attached. Uh, did you see that one in Argentina? <laughs> crashed down, satellites, and like the people in Argentina are like, what the heck just happened? Yeah. Came down, boom. Big satellite being held The up balloons are attached. With the balloon, the weather balloons, they attach these satellites to balloons and send them up. That's what you're seeing. Or oh. you're seeing the high-flying U-2 planes, and they take pictures of that. And then they lie to us and say that there's a bunch of satellites up there that nobody can see. You can see. It just no, you can't. Big, big enough we have a P-1000 now. Here, learn the truth about this. Come see the evidence, learn the truth. You ever hear about it? Take it with you. Brings you the radio to your car. Sirius XM. Yeah. The radio in your car has to be a satellite. Really? Really. So is my cell phone. It's all ground-based towers. Well, not not the uh, well, radio, not the radio and the satellites. Yep. No. Yep. In, uh, they call it satellite, but it's not. Oh, it is. No, it's not up in there in the sky. It's yeah. not floating around. There is no such thing as geosynchronous orbit because there's no geo. There is no ball. This is what we're saying. There's no ball. So there's no geo. There's no orbit. The sun goes around us. See, the sun goes around us. The earth is stationary and in the center. So what happens at the edge of the Earth? Well, that's something I can't answer. So you're going to base your whole belief system on something that can't be answered, right? Well, actually, the pictures are, all, are on the web. Why don't you base it on, like, level of water? Like, uh, something that you can test yourself. See? Actually, actually well, a lot of the stuff... It is... never does this. Never. So you got to start thinking and, and, like, prove it to yourself, you know? Like, I can see Atlantic City from Wildwood, 32.6 miles away. That should be hidden under 861 feet of curvature. That sounds so, about right. Yeah, so how come I can see down to the shore? That's a good question. 
So look, crepuscular rays, you see them. The sun is close and small. Very close, I would say within 10 miles. Mm. That's my opinion, but we're looking at those kinds of things. How close is the sun? Well, I've seen, I've seen the Iridium satellites go overhead. Which, and You've seen something high and like a dot of light going across the sky. Yes. You two planes do that. Except that, except that, well, you two planes, however, are airplanes with wings, right? Have you seen any stealth technology? Yeah. You can't see the, the body of the plane. All you can see is the light. And they can even hologram stuff. You haven't seen hologram stuff? Oh, you yeah. haven't seen that. Okay, so why are you smiling about that? you got to uh, put this just, all into your head in perspective. I was just thinking of, of the pseudo-hologram postcards. That, that could get no, no, this is ago. stuff in the sky. We're serious about this. It's stuff in the sky that uh -huh. they're using to fool the people. You know what? You're one of us. You're not one of them. So whatever they do to us, they're going to do to you. Well, you know that, right? Yep, except that... Uh, you think you got an in with somebody? No, the satellites, the satellites are there. They exist. I've seen them. I've seen them. You've seen them working on the ground? Yeah. Okay, but you never saw it up there. I've seen them launch. And they say it's a there. geosynchronous orbit, so it shouldn't even move. Now, wait a minute. It you, shouldn't you, move. You're, you're, you're getting geosynchronous mixed up with another descriptive term, which oh. is geostationary. Geostationary? Which is different. Geosynchronous from... means it moves with the rotation of the Earth. Right. Yeah, that means we should see it all the time. So to us, it's stationary. If, if you... So now telescope... who's confused? If your telescope is good enough, yes, you should, you should be able to see it. You won't see the body of the airplane, dear. You won't. Well, I've, I've seen the Iridium flares, and I've seen the space station go over. Well, they tell you what it is, and you believe it. And that's, that's the problem that we're having, is that people believe what they're told. <laughs> and so... Instead of looking at it themselves. Got to look around, Pete. Yeah. Rassle them in. So, this is what they teach us in the... Uh, this is what we have in reality, right here. You fix your camera on Polaris, open the aperture, and you get star trails, right? Yep. Okay, now what do they teach us in the schools? What do they teach us in the schools? Right yeah. here. This guy right here. The blue spiral. That's what they teach in the schools. The sun is moving through the universe. All the planets are moving around the sun, and they're all catching up. That's what they teach in the schools. Yeah. Well, that's the same as that. You don't get that with that. I don't believe it. Oh. So I you know see. what? That makes me smarter than you. It burns most men. I think, I think you need to ask even more questions because the answer to this is the same as the answer to this. I'm going to go walking. Slightly. It does this, though. It's all relative. All the stars are relatively positioned with each other. They don't move. No, the relative positions do not move. Well, do not on what time scale? No, 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 no. You're not going to try and nitpick. You've got to. Because astronomical time... No. 
human time. Oh my gosh, in our lifetime. And, and it does move in, in a figure, just not in something we can watch because Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. With upturned edges. Where's her ladies' room? Ah, oh, bag. I spilled. This isn't the way it used to be. It's a dying institution. That's a good thing. <laughs>
I'll be back.
Scientists, 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 scientists